Hi everybody, it's Maria from cardbomb.blogspot.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today's tutorial will focus on this beautiful flower image from Stampin' Up's Remarkable You Stamp Set. Today I've started with a piece of watercolor paper and I've stamped my image in Versamark ink and then heat embossed it in gold embossing powder. I'm using an aqua painter and I've put a healthy coating of water over my entire image so that I could blend ink smoothly over the top of it. I'm using my favorite Stampin' Up! Yellow, which is Daffodil Delight. I've got a piece of paper on the side so that I can keep my aqua painter dry and clean when I need it to be, and easily transition between colors. The second color that, color that I'm using today is Melon Mambo. These two colors combine to make one of my favorite watercolor and color combos, as when they combine, they do make some interesting oranges and peach tones. Now I'm starting a little bit of work on the stem and I'm using a lemon lime twist. I'm going in to add some darker shading with a little bit of emerald envy. These are two of my favorite greens to blend with as well. I'm using my heat tool to dry my image just a little bit as now I want to go back in and get some layers of color. Whenever you're watercoloring it's important to remember that if your image is already wet or the ink from your last layer is still wet your colors are just going to blend together. If you're trying to get a more layered look in your image or you're trying to add layers of color on top of other of your first layers of ink you always want your image to be dry. Now I'm going in and I'm adding a little bit more of that daffodil delight and I'm getting some oranges and peaches. The way that these two colors blend is really incredible. I'm using the fine tip of my aqua painter to add some fine details in and again it's important to make sure that your your ink is already dry if you're going to go back in to try and add fine details like this. Just using a lot of water at this point so that I'm getting light variations in the color that I'm adding. I added my color, my darker colors at the beginning and now I'm just adding little shadowing, a little bit of shadowing to my petals. Going back and adding a bit more Emerald Envy into that stem and the leaves. And if you'll notice that I went ahead and colored around the image today, I colored out of the lines on purpose. And my reason for doing so is that I know that what my, my use for this flower is going to be that I'm going to cut it out. And when I cut it out, I don't want to have a stark white uh, contrast of the watercolor paper around my image. I want it to look like it's a natural flow so that when I do cut it out, I don't have a white halo around the whole thing. So this is what my flower looked like when I cut it out, and this is the card that I ended up making with it. That's it for today, folks. Thanks for joining me. If you're interested in more information or in purchasing any of the products that I've used today, please click the link to my blog in the description below. See you soon!